In this video, we're going to talk briefly about what a reference page is and creating an APA reference. So the reference page is a place where you put any and all information that you have gotten from other sources. So if you have located the address, for example, of a building that you want to remodel, then you want to include that as part of your references. If you have found an article that talks about the benefits of remodeling versus building new, then you want to include that as part of your references. And so what this is, is just an entirely compiled list of all of those different resources that you found to create whatever your um, paper, essay, uh, report, whatever it is. So when we look at this, we can see a couple of things right off the bat. So we know that we have that eight point after spacing. So that's already included here. Uh, we have what's called a hanging indent. And so this can be created um, really easily by adjusting in your ruler. So if you don't have your ruler showing, you can actually go to view and then right here is ruler and you can click that on and off. It's a toggle button so that can go on and off. I always encourage you to have that on. Um, and then from here, if you did not have this already as a hanging indent, then you could actually just move this. And you can see when I move the square, it moves the whole thing. When I move one or more of one of the triangles, it moves just that aspect of it. And what it's doing is it's moving what's happening within the single paragraph. So if we look at all of these uh, markings, right, remember we go to that home and we can turn this on and off. When we look at these markings, we can see we have space bars. So this is all, that's what that single dot is, is a space bar. But all of this is all one paragraph or one sentence, basically. And then once we hit that enter key, that's where it starts to make that adjustment. And so um, this is going to allow us to have that hanging indent. So the top line should be all the way to your left margin. And then any lines following that should be at that 0.5 or that half an inch mark. All right. And I actually have that over just a touch too far, it looks like. There we go. Uh, OK. All right. So that is going to allow it to separate like that. Now, the next piece is you want to make sure that it's all the same font and it's all the same size. And we want to make sure that we have the same um, uh, formatting. So you can see here these addresses were in italicized, italicized, not italicized, and then italicized. And so we have to look at that and say, okay, so why? Um, so in this case, it's because this is actually an article, it's not an address. And so um, those are just different aspects to distinguish. So when you are doing your reference page, the first things that are referenced are your numerical values in numerical order. And then you start with alphabetical after that. Um, so, here you can see we have very few that actually have author's name. So they ended up being started with the title, but the author's name is what should be first. So let me just show you where to go to find all of these um, different rules. So if you go to Purdue OWL or owl.purdue.edu, that is going to give you an absolutely fantastic place to find this APA formatting that we do. This is part of our writing center and it has all of the information you need about the different types of references and the rules that go with each, right? By author, articles, books, so on and so forth. There are a ton of different ones. It's also gonna talk to you about in-text citations. And these you are going to need to use for your um, uh, group report. So make sure that you read through those as well. You can use Citation Machine, but remember this is an automated service. And so it's only as good as the input that you give it. And so sometimes you have to go in and double check that um, to make sure that that is giving you what you want. So when you go to Citation Machine, it looks like this on the main page, then you're going to create your citation. And this is a free service. Um, you have to watch a commercial every once in a while, um, but otherwise it's free. And then it's going to ask you, to, are you using a website, a book, or a journal? So I have a website that we're going to use just so that you can kind of see how this works. And I'm just going to paste that website in there 
and then I'm going to do a search. And what it's going to do is it's actually going to go out and it's going to look for that website and it's going to scan that entire page of that website and it's going to see if it can pull out the information that's needed to create the citation. So this is the article that I was looking at and so now I want to cite that article. So as I go in, now it's telling me this is the information that we found. This is what we did not find and we're going to need your help with. So this information that they found, you still want to make sure that you're double checking it to make sure it makes sense because sometimes it'll pull information that's not correct, especially if we're talking about like an author. Sometimes the author is absolutely not correct or it just misses the author completely because it's in a weird location. So you need to double check this information. Um, so then we're going to Click continue. And it says, this is what I'm citing. So this is the, the title. And if we go over and we actually look at the article that I I'm, was looking at, then right here we can see that is the correct title. We can see that it was by um, uh, Big Rents and it was published on October 6, 2023. So I can double check that information. All right, so I have Big Rents is who the author is or who it was by. That's the way that the article stated it, and therefore that's the way we're going to use it. Um, and then we can look here and see it was electronically published on October 6, 2023, and the date that I accessed this article was January 4, 2024. This is a really important date, and the reason for that is because online can change regularly. And so it's important to know when you accessed it to know if the information that you got was um, new or not. So we're going to complete this citation, and it looks like I have to watch the sponsored ad uh, for just a moment here in order to review it. Um, the citation pages though, as long as you are citing everything, you should be fine. And then you just want to make sure that you put that in alphabetical order. Remember, if you've used it, you have to cite it. Otherwise it's plagiarism and we don't want that. So it, when in doubt, cite the source. Um, nope, we don't want to deal with that. And we come down here and now we can see this is my citation. And so I can actually copy this citation and paste it directly in. And you can see here it's given me um, the author. It's given me the date that it was published. And this is an important date because when you do your in-text citation, you're going to need that author, comma, and then the year that it was um, published. Um, then we have the title in italicis. And then we have the actual um, link to that page. Okay. So as someone who's coming in and looking at your paper, I should be able to go to your citation page, copy that link, paste it in my URL and find the exact article that you were looking at. So I can copy the citation directly and then go over here and paste that right into my um, reference page right where it goes. Uh, so you can see here it created an extra space. So I'm going to delete that out. And then here it is. And you can see this has actually um, been cited here already. Uh, so I don't need two of them. And this could happen if maybe two people in your group found the same resource and didn't realize it. And so you want to make sure that you check that and, and ensure that you don't have duplicates. Okay. All right, so that should give you a pretty good idea of what is going on and how to create that APA reference. Remember, this has to be on its own page with a page break. Um, one other thing I will show you on this Purdue OWL. Oops, sorry, guys. There it is. Um, you can click on this side portion here anywhere to be able to see the different aspects of it. So this in-text citation, right? I want to learn more about it. And so here I can read through and learn and understand. And here's what I was talking about where you have to use that last name, comma, the publication year. And this is what you're going to put in there when you are doing your in-text citations for your report. Um, and I will tell you guys, do it early and often because it's so easy to forget where you got that information when you're doing your writing. So even in your outline and your rough draft, those kind of things, go ahead and put these in text citations in so you know exactly where the information came from and you don't have to guess later. 
Uh, hope this helps. If you do have any questions, feel free to text me on my cell phone or to email me and I will get back to you as quickly as possible.